Hello, Rachel Fasaro here with The Bones and & Company, and today we're gonna talk feeding guidelines. And before I jump into how much to feed your dog or your new puppy, I need to give a little context because guys, Bones & Co. is not like any other dog food. We add absolutely no fillers. We are extremely low carb. There's nothing in the food added that isn't needed by your dog. So what that means is your wallet is gonna be happier because most dogs on Bones & Co. are able to eat less than they would on any other dog food because it is so nutrient dense. So let me explain why. We formulate a keto friendly recipe, which means it's very low in carbohydrates, high in healthy fats and adequate in rich protein, which makes it the most metabolically appropriate dog food on the market. And that my friends is the secret sauce as to why so many dogs can eat less on our food than other brands. Because what happens is keto food promotes ketosis and ketosis is the most natural metabolic state for dogs where they are using fat as the primary fuel source, but on a high carb food, the dog is going to go through glycolysis and glycolysis is where dogs are going to rely primarily on carbs for a fuel source, which is not optimal and it's not efficient because what happens in that situation is dogs are going to have blood sugar spikes, insulin spikes, which can lead to inflammation. And that is why dogs are going to appear more hungry, going to be begging for food and going to be needing to eat more food because it's a less efficient metabolic process. It's a similar parallel as to you eating a healthy salad with some rich avocado, healthy hemp seeds, some good rich protein versus you eating a bowl of cereal. Which one is going to make you feel more satiated and full and give you more nutrients so you don't have to eat as much? The healthy salad, of course. It's the same thing for dogs. So let's talk about the actual feeding amounts and what we recommend. Now, of course, if your dog has any medical or health needs, you want to partner with a holistic or integrative vet. These are general guidelines and recommendations recommendations, but we recommend to start with feeding your dog about two to two and a half percent of their ideal body weight. I recommend to start there because that's the general feeding guidelines. Track your dog's weight. You could go to a local independent pet store. Many of them have scales that you can weigh your dog on or at your vet's office or using a home scale and weigh your dog one to two times a month and see how they do on that feeding amount. If you notice that your dog's weight is starting to creep up a little bit, then I recommend to reduce the feeding amount by 10 to 20%. Then continue to feed that same amount, avoid too many extra treats and supplements if you can and continue to weigh your dog one to two times a month and see how they're progressing if you notice that they're losing weight a little bit then you can increase their food just a little bit this is such an important step in feeding guidelines that i feel like even us as a brand are not talking about enough because just like you and i a dog's metabolic system or their metabolism vary from dog to dog. Your dog is special and your dog is unique. And that's why I believe in the value of tracking their progress while feeding Bones & Co. From tracking their blood sugars, tracking their ketone levels, which yes, you can do at home. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. And of course, tracking their weight. Because then what you're doing is you're feeding your dog based on what's best for them, not according to some chart on a website or some feeding calculator. Because your dog is not a calculator. Your dog is a living, breathing, and beautiful creature who has unique needs. Now, let's jump into the puppies. Boy, do we love puppies. And yes, Bones & Co. is formulated for all life stages. And we believe in the power of giving a puppy, especially a puppy, because that's when they're growing the fastest in their entire life. We believe in the power of giving them low carb, higher fat and protein so that they're getting all of the nutrients they need and nothing that they don't. Now for feeding guidelines for a puppy, we recommend starting at about 5% of their body weight, and then you will adjust down once they get out of puppyhood. And you can weigh the food at home on a little food scale if you wanna be exact, because what's really important is with puppies, a lot of people are worried about underfeeding. And of course, we don't want you to underfeed your puppy, but the more common issue that I've seen with puppies is overfeeding a puppy. A lot of times we think that chubby, roly, poly puppies are cute, and yes, okay, yes, they're cute, but that's not necessarily healthy. We don't want puppies to be so overweight that it's gonna put pressure on their growing joints and muscles. And I'll have some links in the description below that'll show kind of what healthy body weight looks like. But again, you can partner with your vet and they can get their hands on your dog and, and really give you some good guidance on that. So earlier we did talk a little bit about measuring blood sugar and measuring ketones. I will make a separate video about that. And of course you can comment below questions you have, but just to give a quick high level overview. So because we formulate a keto friendly food, we are proactively promoting metabolic health. And what does metabolic health mean? Well, metabolic health is the 
health of the dog's metabolic system. So that means healthy blood sugar levels, healthy ketone levels, healthy insulin and hormone levels, and of course, healthy weight. And all of these things are things that you can measure at home. So you can get a human glucometer and ketone meter. And yes, you do have to prick your dog. It's, it's similar to what a human diabetic would do to prick their finger. It's the same process as that. So it is a little uncomfortable. And again, I'll make a video showing you how to do that, but you can test your dog's ketone levels and their blood sugar levels at home to see and actually see before your eyes, their metabolic health, which is so powerful because these health benchmarks are things that you can't see just by looking at your dog. A lot of times we look at our dogs like, oh, they have a healthy coat. They seem to look healthy. They have a lot of energy, but a lot of times dogs can appear to be healthy where internally they, may not be. And this is something we are so incredibly passionate about because it has been studied and shown time and time again that metabolic health is directly correlated with a variety of diseases that are plaguing our dogs today, such as cancer, diabetes, epilepsy, obesity, allergies, and the list goes on. These are diseases that are exasperated when the metabolic health is not ideal. And so that is why we are talking about metabolically appropriate foods like keto, metabolic health, and measuring that at home and staying on top of it so we can do our best to fight against these horrific, horrific metabolic conditions. So again, I'm going to have a ton of links down below to give you guys more information and leave any questions you have down below. We are a small family company and we love to connect with you guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and we hope you have a beautiful day. Goodbye guys.